Hey guys, so today I'm not going to be talking about comb your hair, don't comb your hair, pack your hair, don't pack your hair, twist it, protect it. Nah, mm -mm, mm -mm. Today I'm going to be talking about me. Me. Yes, me. Me. On a lighter note, someone actually asked for a video and requested to see the product I use on my hair. So I'm going to be, this video is going to be detailed about, um, all the things I use on my hair for my shampoo, my deep conditioner, leave-in conditioner, the product, the brand I use, and also the tools I use to like maintain my hair, like combing, brushing, then um, the oils I also use, the oils that are actually good for my hair, including the gel I also like apply for like my edges, as you can see. Yeah, stuff like that. So I'm going to be mentioning everything. So pay attention very well. If you have to put this video on playback speed you can increase it but i'm going to try to be very fast because you know i talk very fast so without wasting our time let's go right into today's video hi guys my name is desire and you're welcome to my channel so if you see my face for the first time like i just said my name is desire but you can call me didi i love didi didi is very simple so without wasting our time basically i have some products here and it ranges from shampoo to my leave-in conditioner my deep conditioner my hair oils um my hair brush and comb and um yeah basically those are the things here so i'm going to first of all start with the products before i go into the tools so for the shampoos i make use of the anti-dandruff mega go shampoo and the stimulating mega go shampoo so this was when i was really battling dandruff and i still use this occasionally like once in a while not very frequently just for should i say just so the dandruff does not come you know that kind of thing you take supplements so your skin glows not like your skin is bad but you just keep taking it yeah stuff like that so that's why i still use this although this is empty right now but just to show you guys then the stimulating shampoo is a regular shampoo i use like for every wash mainly like every single wash most of the time another shampoo the i need herbal shampoo okay so this product is actually very nice and this is a um, herbs infused product and this is a black shampoo let me try and see if i can open it so this is a black shampoo i don't know if you can see inside but this is oops oh see what content has done that's no one that affords now that I've used and wash my front hair. Okay? If you're someone who really likes herbal product like me, you really like this. And this kind of gives same effect to the stimulating shampoo. It gave me like similar effects, although they're different brands. Like this is really infused with peppermint, neem powder, hibiscus powder, clove extract, rosemary, peppermint oil, um, amla powder, and so um, on. So this is really, really nice. And you know me and herbs five and six so this is really a nice one but will i keep using my mega goods i think so i just started using this one recently although i like the results i'm just going to see how get my point the next product is the leave-in conditioner so i use the mega goods break free leave-in straightener and this has been working for me for like years and this is Despite the fact that it's very economical, this small one is about 2000 naira now or so, and it works perfectly well. It works perfectly well. I've loved it like so far, so far, so far. It has been good. On that one, like I said, I also included is this. The same I need um have um have our living conditioner. It's a living strengthener that also has a lot of um extract in it at the end of the video i'm going to be introducing a product officially to you guys it's a nigeria brand of course as you can see and it's really really nice like these are the products i use product i make is of the mega growth deep conditioner <laughs> at this point mega growth is supposed, i'm supposed to like be on the face of their product what is auntie's face doing here don't you look like me it's not my face that's like it's not my face that's supposed to be here my face is supposed to be here so why is that face here anyways I just love their products, it's nice. So I make use of their deep conditioner. This is a big size. You see, when it comes to deep conditioning, I prefer getting a big size because deep conditioning is like the product that gets fast, like gets finished the fastest in my entire products collection. You see, deep conditioners, because of my hair, hmm, 
deep conditioners and like my oils are like the fastest to get finished mostly the deep conditioners like so far so i have to like always buy the big one this one can serve me like four times yeah it's, i've used it once i got it this particular one so it serves me like four five times max five times i don't think i use it more than five times I need rich moisture deep conditioner so this is the second deep conditioner i use i make use of this too can you guys see it so i make use of this too and this is really nice it, it made my curls pop look at look inside the color is different and this is also a herbal deep conditioner it's enriched with oats and moringa um it has um cocoa butter cocoa seed sweet almond oil so if you are low porosity this can actually work very well for you it has herbal infused oil seed oil black seed oil rose water and so on it has a very very it has very nice stuff here like i said this product i need products are actually very beautiful and nice and they are herbal products which i love now for the oils i need good serum it helps fight dandruff as you can see it is very very nice and it is really lightweight if you're low porosity you should really get say, this product if you are low porosity here or medium porosity for high porosity definitely you can get it if you can ask for a recommendation and what i love from this brand is the fact that now we did here within nigeria and i can just easily like make inquiries and all that you know what i'm saying so i make use of the oil once in a while because um i make my own story I make my own in um how about infused oils infuse my oils you guys know me as doing diys with herbs i love them very much my sister calls me herbalist but i'm not mm, i'm not i'm not i'm not this is my infused oil this particular one i infused it about a week ago two weeks ago i think two weeks ago yeah there about but this particular one is the one i'm that's that's still remaining so in my infused oil you can check out the link here this is a video to this particular oil that is infused here so i use so i put in some herbs you can watch this video you'll see how i made it so while i make infused um herbal oils i also when i'm done infusing them i mix them with some other oils like kaka oil um sunflower oil ooba oil olive oil is usually my base oil that i used to like infuse those herbs so i don't include it a little bit of coconut oil i don't really use coconut oil on my hair it really if i use it too much it makes my hair dry but i also include coconut oil just very little um i also add um, vitamin e oil yes and um lavender oil so these are like the oils i mix and if i actually have my hand on other nice oils i just like include them in it but these are the oils i use mainly when i'm done infusing my herbs in that olive oil i add this one in little quantity and then mix them up together if at all i don't have my herbs on ground all i make use of is just this oils essential oils and raw oils just mix them up and i apply it to my hair and they are still very okay another oil i make use of is the ginger and onion oil i i don't know if i have a video of it here but if i don't have a video of it please and you need a video you can leave a comment so that i can make the video and post it i think i have the video but i've not posted i have so many videos i did not post but this thing this particular one is very urgent i have to make this video right now so these are like the oils i use ginger and garlic oil is basically just um grating or blending the ginger and garlic together and uh, ginger garlic and onions rather and then you just heat it very um in a very very low heat for just few minutes in olive oil let it cool down then sieve out to the shaft and that's just the oil but you have to make sure you're using the oil from the day you make it to like the next five days so you don't make too much because ginger garlic and onion they're like in their fresh state and the oil itself is preserved like it can last longer it doesn't get spoiled but because of the water quantity in those fresh stuff you can't leave it too long without preservatives so if also you want to use ginger garlic or you want to make it i would suggest you get the dry ginger garlic and onions or you sun dry them or just look for a way to take out the water content in it and then you just blend it dry um infuse it in the oil and then it can stay for like months without needing preservative so that is it for the product and the oils i use on my hair i also use this hairspray from anid naturals 
so this hairspray is actually very very nice and it has cloves it helps prevent lice it helps fight dandruff it helps uh, prevent dry scalp and eliminate itching scalp and this is really nice it has a mint oil rosemary rose water and so on some kind of names i actually cannot pronounce but from those ones and cloves it has clove which i really really love so much so if this sounds like something you really like let me know so i need um, natural this is the brand number here if you know you really want to get the product i'm not going to let you guys about any products right whatever thing that is not good is not good you know me i didn't slide my mouth our products are very nice this particular brand is a must have and it's actually affordable so i got um the hair mist deep conditioner hair butter shampoo leave-in conditioner hair oil in a student set for 17,500 naira, so you can actually get that and she is located here in nigeria in benin city but she can deliver to you wherever you are she also delivers to uk us any country outside nigeria so you can actually try this out and thank me later okay so those are the products you need you don't need too much the other things on the side can actually be added like hairspray those hairsprays you can actually make by yourself with just little herbs or you can buy from those who has made them for my edges as you can see my edges does not have any white cast i make use of the got to be got to be hair wax so this is about a thousand naira if it's not up to a thousand five hundred but whenever i buy it it's like it stays for a very long time so the original one i used to use wax gel i think i'll leave a picture around here wherever but it became so pricey right now like i was hearing like six thousand seven thousand maybe on that i will be using it too or maybe when they make me the ambassador but for now this should not be more than two thousand naira max right now and it's very very cool and for the golden the um wax gel the one i'm talking about i hardly see it around if at all i see it is just too expensive for no reason the last time i got i got about three thousand naira. so why am i pricing it now and it's like six thousand naira. why we got to be we move um so if you've not subscribed to my channel please i beg you puppy eyes mm. Mm -mm -mm. dance for you just just subscribe it's not harm you not to don't feel like you will subscribe to it just subscribe it and then please like you guys don't know how much giving a video a thumbs up really helps that video if you want to support a creator please give that video a thumbs up please just leave a comment okay tell me if you have any questions and if you want to ask about anything about me okay let me know all right so now over to the tools i use on my hair for my hair yeah finally the tools i use uh, initially when my hair was still very very little i just started my hair care journey i made use of this brush that guys used to like a comb brother i'm going to leave a picture around here so that comb was what i was using because my hair was still like in its very little state and then, for a year later so i got this particular brush this really worked so well and then after a while i just like had to change because i don't know as you can see the bridges it started bending and it was going to the wrong direction but this is actually nice and funny enough i kind of use this as like a scalp massager when i was washing my hair like i just place it on my scalp and it, the bridge bridge too they are actually very soft when i did not have a scalp massager but i use now and i got this month some months ago is this particular one this one has this um this one yes I saw it on TikTok, on YouTube, everywhere, on Instagram, and I'm like, what is in this brush? Since it was time for me to change my hairbrush, I decided to get this one. And actually, so far, I really love it. It's nice. It's flexible. Like, really, really flexible. So there are times I actually comb before going with a brush. So I use this particular one. As you can see, it's a bit dusty because I can't remember the last time I used this. And my hair became like really fuller. I did, I'm doing more of finger detangling and using of this brush but this is just there in cases where oh my i don't have time and i want to just detangle this thing fast fast but recently i really just calmed down the day i don't have the time i will not touch my hair until so i always have that time to finger detangle then use my brush but this is good if your hair is really full or natural hair you should get this and when you're detangling detangle from the tip then you start going up gradually this is my scalp massager I use this when washing my hair. If you see me washing my hair in my like 
latest videos you will notice that i use it like often not just washing my hair whenever i'm just like free and i apply my oil on my scalp i just go in with this or if once in a while i just want to do little scalp massaging i go in with this particular one um scalp massaging aids in blood circulation it helps very well in blood circulation maybe that's tight scalp every time do all those in ghana river whatever when you take down your head the first thing you're supposed to do is to massage your scalp hmm? i said to this about me so i don't know i'm still advising you guys again spray bottle i use this for but this is as stubborn as last bones i mean last bone but not that stubborn this thing the day it wants to work it works this is not work so i'm thinking of changing this to this i saw this i've been seeing this just where i've been seeing that brush and i will buy it it don't want have problem me and hair care tools producers will have problems but this this thing is very very stubborn but it sprays like ah it's cooling my scalp father this is very essential okay and this is i got this big one for honestly if you want to buy don't buy this big one it's a waste of time i was thinking that small was really small this is about i think it's even four, more than 400 ml it's more than 400 because they were 400 ml here and like the bottle is still up so i guess it's more than it's not worth it because i always end up putting my spray somewhere here as you can see where my water is it doesn't go beyond this if it goes beyond this i will not finish it even if the spray is going to be for five days how many spray downs put on my head but i actually got this for just like 1700 as i early this year so you can just to advise you don't bother buying this big one buy the small one look and waste two months one oil applicator bottle actually have two oil applicator bottles let me get the second one this is my second oil applicator bottle this particular one was not i did not buy it as an oil applicator bottle it, but this one i got it but i basically just this one to apply pre pull on my hair if you watch the video where i used onion juice for pre pull on my hair you see me using some to apply so i mainly use some to apply my pre pull stuff like my onion juice and other kind of yada 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 and stuff so if i use it for oil the oil likes to come out is to be too much but this one just straight to the line like way easier so whichever you know you like you can actually get them i think i got this for was it 700 naira or something I can't exactly remember all right um so in case you're trying to like start up your hair journey or you've been on your hair journey I, most important things you need is a is a good shampoo a moisturizing shampoo a shampoo that is not going to leave your hair dry after you, you're done washing it will take out the dirt but at least still add nutrients to your hair not leaving your hair pakaraka you need a shampoo that will help moisturize your hair please don't get all those shampoos that will dry your hair that is one a good shampoo you need a deep conditioner a good deep conditioner you need a leave-in conditioner you need oils that are good for your hair porosity if you need a video on hair porosity let me know i can make a video on that and drop it whenever you know you have the time to watch it um hair porosity good oils for your hair for your, for your hair porosity and a good cream or butter whichever you call it so we have shea butter avocado butter cocoa butter we have mango butter there are varieties of butter out there but i always make the mistake of calling them cream so you need all the stuffs for your hair these are the like things you actually do need and then a hair spray guys thank you so much for watching this video and if you've not subscribed please i beg you subscribe and just give this video a thumbs up and please leave a comment just leave any emoji or tell me the country you are watching from do i look like i buy it i don't buy it i'm a very soft girl maybe i'm not did you hear that no you did not this is to you do have a nice week and a beautiful day i had